Hello everyone and welcome to set 9 of Let's Play Darksiders War Master Edition. Now, in case you can't tell, I did a few things. Mostly, <laughs> I got bored. Now, if you're new to my channel, um, the phrase, I got bored, is something that most of my friends um, are afraid of. <laughs> because it means I did something that they normally do. But it was while I was editing and I was bored. And keep in mind that editing for me can take about can take anywhere from an hour to five hours. Keep that in mind when I'm about to show you what I did. Okay, let's go. First and foremost, I have everything I need to do with all the artifacts. I uh, missed two of the uh, champion uh, artifacts. There are just places I didn't. I just, I just had to backtrack pretty much, and I got them. I got, um, a few more of the soldiers. I think just one. Yeah. Um, basically all the other artifacts are in the Black Tower, which is where we're going to next. So, huzzah. Now, <laughs> I mastered all the weapons. Now, how I did this. This is fun. I went to the Iron Canopy, the room that I told you about with the spiders I kept spawning at. I just went there, went to the room, did a AoE ability, and then left towards the, um spiderweb door that leads to Cynthia's uh, lair. I didn't open the giant door, I instead got right up, right up next to it, turned around, went back in, and they all respawned. And I just kept doing that over and over and over again with the Chaos Lord equipped to it. Or the uh, Combat Lord equipped to it. So that leveled it up pretty damn quickly. Like, this I leveled up in like 10, 15 minutes. This I leveled up in about an hour. So it was pretty, damn, it was pretty quick to get through. I got all the spells up to level 2, with the exception of Stone Skin, which is level 3, because that costs less. Um, level 4 is the highest level I can get these things if memory serves. I bought all my upgrades that I need for these. I even bought an extra um, empty vessel so I can hold an Undying. Um, I believe we get one more um, uh, item in the Black... One more uh, vessel in the Black Throne, which is going to be a possession if memory serves. And that's pretty much all I did off screen. Um, I will have a guide up on how to uh, get a shit ton of souls quickly in the future. But for the most part, that's all I did. Um, I also collected a few more um, Lifestone Shards and Wrath Shards. I basically just backtracked a lot and got the stuff. I also got the two available um, Legendary Enhancements. Strife's Offering and War's Glory. This is pretty freaking helpful. Um... Boost weapon damage, so whatever weapon is equipped to does more damage, generates wrath on killing blow, generates chaos on killing blows. So pretty helpful. I have it on my gauntlet. Uh, the passive ability, which is what all my stuff has, will drastically increase projectile-based attack damage, so guns, my crossbow, or my crossbow, my uh, crossblade, throwing shit, pretty much anything that can go projectile does extra damage. Um, it also increases my defense against projectile stuff, so it's pretty freaking helpful to have on. War's Glory drastically increases chaos gained via the Chaos Eater's sword. So if this has equipped to something, the Chaos Eater gets that uh, passive. Or that uh, slide bonus. No, it has to be on the Chaos. Never mind. Drastically increases chaos gained by other melee weapons. So all my melee weapons have a drastic increase by, of chaos, and it drastically increases the amount of EXP gained for that. Pointless. Uh, passive village for having equipped incre drastically increases the duration of chaos form and weapon damage. So, all my weapons have more damage, all my weapons uh, gain chaos at a higher rate. Pretty freaking helpful. And then this has a uh, Reaper equipped to it, which just gives me a boost to uh, souls acquired from enemies, and extra if I use it on the scythe. So, yay! Now, as to why I'm here and not in uh, <laughs> Samael's Serpent Hole. Um, there's an Abyssal Armor piece here that I want to get real quickly. It's kind of out of the way, which is why I'm going to show you where it's at. And on the way, yeah, it's just a fun. <clears throat> so it's nice now that I have all this done. Um, I did buy every single upgrade for the weapons. So we're all set with that. I got a shit ton of souls from doing my trick. Um, it's something I was pointed out to be a long time ago. It's how I got most of my souls. Fortunately, in this game, it's a lot easier to pull off because the uh, hardware is a lot better. But I'll get to explaining that when I get to uh, making that video. There is... I'll keep going this way. 
Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, I missed it. It is... Up over to my left. Upper left. Okay. But this is the area that I just... I grinded all my stuff out. It was pretty easy. Honestly. There it is. Jump. Woo! I love doing that. So much fun. But yeah, those uh, souls that I currently have, by the way, are due to uh, not me uh, doing my level thing, and that was, a, that was what was left over. That's actually from uh, the uh, soldier, or the artifacts. <laughs> and then up over here. Oh! No! Damn it! I slipped. Got a little too close to that ledge. Alright, try it again. There was, uh, oh yeah, there, was, there was an artifact up here that I missed. One of the uh, soldier artifacts. Uh, excuse me. This area reminded me of where the uh, abyssal armor piece was when I came here. Yes, yeah, so you can climb up that, and it'll take me to the, uh, the thing. Come on. There we go. The all I did off screen was just collect souls and max out my weapon. Got the glide to it? I do. There we go. And there it is. Alright, so all that's left in terms of the abyssal armor pieces are stuff that I'll find along the way. I am going to have to warn you guys, um, the Black, uh, Black Throne, which is the area we're going to, the tower, we can only go there once. Um, once we leave, we can't come back. Whoa! There we go. I like falling out of the air and just landing on ruins. So much fun. But, yeah. We have to make sure we get everything there, which is two soldiers, two, uh, two soldiers, one, um, uh, champion, Fury's Embrace, and the Abyssal Armor piece, and I think the, uh, last empty vessel. Alright, so let's go back. I haven't gone into the Black Tower, uh, we still have actually the cutscene to go through with this. Because I uh, remember, at the end of the last set, I loaded up the previous save. But at a certain point, I'm going to have to stop recording for a little bit so I can record how to get uh, Fury's Embrace. I will point it out during the Let's Play, of course. But I'm going to have a collection video of how to get them all. I need to find a good song to go with the Four Horsemen. That's not copyrighted. Hmm. I'm going to go March of the Valkyries. You know... Valkyries, uh, riding in on horses, death, shit like that. Sounds kind of cool. Let's go! But yeah. In between, uh, this set and the next set, because the next set's probably going to be the last set of the game, I am going to buy, uh, the greater healing stuff. Alright, let's do a quick save. We're going to go talk to Samael. Now I have the big shit. <laughs> I'm all set to go. Alright, just to make sure, uh, two soldiers while well, you... Two more Bissar pieces, which we can get throughout the course of the game, throughout the area. Yeah, we should be ready to go. Hey, somebody, how you doing, buddy? I was beginning to worry you might not live up to your end of the bargain. Give it to me. You lied to me about the Chosen. They never guarded the tower. What does it matter? Our deal wasn't for ancient history. I promised you the tower, and you shall have it.
to deny me what's rightfully mine. With my powers restored, I am like unto a god. I can suck the marrow from your bones before you drew another breath. I could. But I too have a code by which I do business. Besides, say what you will about balance and your ridiculous law. I recognize a quest for revenge when I see one. And revenge I respect. As for the details of my resignation, I do not approve of the company my master keeps. Why did you challenge the destroyer, Samael? See your journey to its end, horseman. You will understand soon enough. You trust him? Who knows where in the Nine Hells this portal will take us? We will meet again. Ah, I still love Samael. He's so wicked. Alright. So that's that. Let's continue onwards. Ooh, so demonic. Do, 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 do. Fuck. A lot of stuff. And there's our exit. Keep in mind, there is a glitch if we go back through uh, somebody else's portal. I don't think it always happens, which is why I reloaded. But if we uh, turn around here and try to go back the way we came, there is a chance that we'll start glitching through Samael's prison and just keep falling and falling and falling eternally. So, that's why I reloaded. But, let's go! Hello! Alright, let load up. There we go. Yeah, let's keep moving. If we slow down for a minute, uh, we'll fall. Yeah, see? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I remember you. You're wicked. Azrael, heaven help me. Not broken. What have you to fear from me, Angel of Death? If you do not intend to kill me, then perhaps you will help me. You've given me no reason to do either. Listen to me. The gate must be shut. The tower must be cut off from the well. It is from the well that the destroyer draws his power. The well of souls. Millions of souls, yes, enslaved, twisted, a corrupt power to fuel the destroyer's armies. You are stewards of the underworld, watcher of the well. Not a single soul flows back into this world without you knowing. Unless, gatekeeper, you opened the way. The destroyer sent the mightiest of his chosen against me. I fared no better than you did, horseman against Straga. Straga? You will take me to him. You have my word. Then tell me what I must do, Angel of Death. I love that they include Azrael. He actually is the biblical Angel of Death, too. It's really awesome. Um, they don't really explain the relationship between Azrael and the Horseman Death, but the way I view it is they're more like um, co-workers type of a deal. Azriel watches the Well of Souls in which souls are poured into, they are washed of their sins and then reborn to the world, stuff like that. Death, he's the executioner. He's the one that sends the souls to the Well. Please, you must find some way to draw power to this chamber. Alright. This is actually the way to uh, get Fury's Embrace, by the way. So once we get done with this section of the map, I'll go off screen for a little bit so I can, uh, so I can, um, record me, uh, how to get the, uh, the thing. 
All right. Okay, how do I do this again? There's something hidden right there. All right, okay. That down. That up. We gotta keep the uh, path like that open. And you. Um, is there anything over here that I need? Vague memories. I know there are a lot of chests hidden, so I gotta keep an eye out for those stuff. Oh, there's a soul chest. Yeah, I don't think I can make that glide. Throw! This glide, on the other hand, I can make. I think. Okay, good. <laughs> so I get worried there for a second. Give me them souls. I still need to uh go down. Lift that up. I still need to collect souls so I can get the rest of the spells. It's pretty much all I need now. Uh, nope. There we go. Oh! I didn't need to fuck with that. Damn it! Whee! Okay. Ah. Alright. Oh, God! <laughs> Always careful of that. Whee! I love that Spider Man swing thing. It's so fun. Uh, nope. Uh, none of that bullshit. Over you. Lift you. And that gives us the path we need. Here we are. Alright. Easy enough. Easy enough. Run, 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 run! Open you! Ah, oh, great! Demons! Bring it! And now I don't have to worry about just using my scythe all the time. I can use whatever the hell I want. Ugh. You're the reason why I don't like your kind. You're a bastard. And now I just kill whenever I want to, as well. Executions. So nice. Alright, nothing over there. Nothing over there. Okay. Rotate. Um. Rotate you. Okay. And that'll give me the, the Spider-Man swing. <laughs> Alrighty. Easy puzzles, easy puzzles. Whoop. God, it's so much fun. Alright. Don't want to fuck with that yet. And that's right. Don't want to fuck with those yet either. Because when we come back here, we're gonna have a fight. Ooh. That I will fuck with. That I will not yet. Alright, so we can't leave yet. The Rider approaches. 
Let's have fun. The way are we going? Ow! You hurt. Boop, boop. God. So we're pretty much the same as we were at the Apocalypse now, only stronger because we have new toys. And there we go. Ah, our Steven. Nope. Ah, oh, you did get me. Save my uh, war form or my uh, cast form for later. If I need to, if I can. Rid of you. Come on, Mitch. Cancel your attack, bitch. Yeah, rob my cowboy. All right, kill him. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Fine. Bitch. I'm gonna have to go chaos for this. I don't like this group. Let's kill this one first. If I can kill you without worry, I can get the uh, other ones, no problem. Right, let's go. Come here, you. <laughs> I would have pulled him to me now. Boom. Like a fucking badass. Now we get a new toy. Portals. All right. Integral lock that creates portals, allowing instant travel between two points. Press and hold to create a charge portal to greatly increase war's exit velocity. So I just go like bam and bam to go bam. Now let's look at it and press L2 to uh, turn it off. And then charge. I know. Get one of those portals. Boom. Shoot me out. So if I can help. Alright. Did I go up? I did. Get back down here. That ready. Come on down. <sighs> God damn it. It's gonna take a little bit of time. <laughs> there we go. And then go back up. Right, grab this. And there we go. Whoa. All right. Uh, how should I do this? This is actually where um the thing is. Come on, get his attention.
Come on. Start shooting. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down. I am going to record how to get uh, the thing. Oh, there we go. For that. No way I can uh, show you guys properly how to do it. Alright. So I will be right back, guys.